Okay, so at the end of the last video, I said I would go into how this thermostat on the Vasani 4.5 cubic foot mini fridge works. So I've dialed it in. Right now, it's at three on the settings. Um, it goes up to seven. So I have it set at three, um, and it's running about 29 degrees. So on this one, it took me a while to kind of figure it out. So when you screw in this screw here next to the um, large knob, um, when you screw it in, it seems to drop it colder. When you screw it out, it seems to get warmer. When you screw this one on the side here, this is supposedly your differential screw. When you screw that one out, it seems to move it tighter and colder. And then when you screw it in, it seems to increase the range and make it warmer. So I've messed with these two um, for probably about three days now. Um, this got me in the range I wanted. And then the screw in the front, screw in the front here, which is hard to see because it's all wired up, kind of dialed me in by degree by degree. So I'm gonna do this on a whiteboard so you can see it better, but right now it's running at 29 and I mean, these drinks are cold. I don't wanna take it, it goes up to about 35, so it's about 29 to 35, but I don't wanna keep it too cold because it'll eventually start freezing. Okay, so this is a graphic representation of the thermostat that I showed you in the Bassani. And this can be applied basically to a lot of different thermostats. Uh, I tried to research and look for it, but a lot of them say different things. Um, particularly a lot of the stuff you'll find online, it tells the exact opposite of what I did here to get what your range is. So remember, that's your big knob. So if you put it on one, that's your warmest setting. If you put on seven, that's your coldest. So the Vasani, when it was sitting about um, six or seven, before I started tweaking it, it was running maybe 38 degrees and it had a really wide range. So it'd run 38 and the drinks were cold, but they weren't like ice cold. And you want your beer ice cold. So I started tweaking this, started messing with this. This didn't really do much at first. So then I started looking over at this side screw. The side screw um, actually has a little bit of thread tape on it or a little piece of glue to, it's a set for a differential. So what I, figured out was if I screwed this out it dropped the temperature it got colder and then it had a smaller range of being colder so it would go from about 29 to 35 and it would cycle on and off in that range so the differential is how big or how tight you want your range for your thermostat to be it was originally about 16 degrees so the drinks would basically go up to 45 degrees and then go all the way back down to 37 38 but that's not ice cold so what I found out is if you screw this out on this particular thermostat, the differential will make it colder. The range will decrease, but it will also move it down some. On the set range, after I got this kind of dialed in where I wanted it, it was sitting about 34 to 38. Then I started tweaking my set range. Your set range is how cold you want it to go down to. So right now I have my set range set at 29 degrees Fahrenheit. So it should kick off about 29, probably 28, because there's a little bit of flux in there, plus or five degrees. And then it'll increase up to 35. That'll allow the evaporator, the compressor to cool, the evaporator to cool, the ice or um, condensation to melt off the back and go out the bottom of the drain. When you screw this in, this makes it colder. So screwing it in clockwise makes it colder and on the differential, screwing it out or counterclockwise makes it colder. Um, different variations have um, different ways they operate. You've got to kind of play with that um, if you don't have a spec sheet or any way of knowing that. But I thought this would be helpful. It's been tremendously helpful for me on understanding thermostats better for refrigeration. Um, hopefully it does you too. So at the end of the day, I had this set at three. So at three, it's 29 degrees. Well, you're like, that's less than 32 degrees. Well, if you're putting soda with sugar or beer in a fridge, uh, soda with sugar in it will freeze around 30 degrees. So you can take it below 32. Beer 
and heavy alcohol, you can go to 28, and if you have a higher alcohol content, you can actually take it colder without it freezing. So I have this set at three. So if I do want it colder, say I put some uh, you know, brand new drinks in there and I want to get them cold super fast, I can turn it up to seven, and then it'll drop that set range down and make my drinks colder faster. And then if this fridge does start freezing stuff over an extended period of time, I'm gonna turn it down to one. That gives me a little bit of play on either side, but I'd rather have them pretty cold so I can really dial it up, make them super cold, then, you know, more on that. And I can always pull it back apart and move my set range differential again if I want to. Here's the biggest thing. Whatever moves you make in the game of life with the screws, whether this one or this one, make sure they're like half turns, quarter turns. You don't want to wrench in like four or five turns or wrench out four or five turns because you can really screw it up and, it, and it's really bad because I've done it. So just little turns to, and then you let it wait for about four hours, let it settle, see what it's sitting at, and then you can check it again.